This is my tutu tutorial. I purchased some glittered green tool at Walmart. Now the glitter makes this tool a lot stiffer than regular tool. First I cut out a rectangle 11 and a half inches long. This tutu is for a newborn. I fold it in half, then I place it under the elastic. If you're wondering the length of the elastic, it's 14 inches long and I just stitched it, um, stitched the ends. Once I place it underneath, I loop the ends through the little loop and pull through. Now with regular tool without the glitter, which is not as stiff, it's a lot easier to tighten the knot. So here is how I did the entire tutu. And you can tell that it's a lot harder to do because the stiffness of the tool and the glitter. Regular tool, I've done two twos and it's a lot easier. But this one, definitely a little bit stiffer. I did learn not to tighten the knots too much because if you do, you will stretch out the elastic. And then when you try to assemble it, you'll have extra elastic stretched out and it won't look good. So you want to leave the knots relatively loose. It took me about half an hour to do all of this uh, using approximately 35 pieces of tool to make it extra fluffy. Keep on rotating. I found out after doing several of these tutus that you can use sort of a paper towels hold, paper towel instead of a glass vase, which is what I have. You do not want the vase or the paper towels that you're wrapping the elastic around to be large because it will stretch out the elastic. And then when you're done putting the 35 pieces, you'll find out that you still have extra elastic because you've stretched it out so much. So definitely for a newborn, I would say nothing bigger than a or wider cylindrical than a paper towel roll. It goes by pretty quickly. Um, how I cut my tool was using just a rotary, rotary cutter and it took about 20 minutes to cut out the 35 pieces. This is the finished product. You can see the fluffiness and this is what it looked like for the photo shoot.